Hey everybody, Paperclip here, gonna be playing some more EU4 today as Manipur in the Animal Kingdom achievement where we're doing pretty well, we're doing pretty well. We're currently working on integrating Kosh, converting all of our lands, currently we're going to be cur converting Burind pretty soon. And we'll probably do these and then Patna and then Balasaur, can we even convert Balasaur right now? Barely. And that's with the missionary we can barely convert Balasur. He'll be done in 34, so two more years. It's coming up pretty quick. We should start trying to pay back some of these loans. We need a little over a hundred bucks for every loan we have. Try and make some extra money. I could turn that off as well. I don't think it's really saving me much army tradition. Nah, it's like barely saving me anything. So just turn it off. Oh, sweet. I'm actually quite happy about that. Even though our legitimacy just got tanked, we just lost stability. I'm kind of fairly happy about that. Because he's a 4-4-3, so he's pretty damn good. Fuck you, game. I say we go ahead and just get another one of the Adidas out. Morale of armies is going to be very nice. And yearly legitimacy might actually turn out to be somewhat useful for us, considering we keep end up getting people with like no legitimacy at all. Delhi pretty much isn't ever going to want an alliance. He's at war with Miwar and Sindh. And yeah, Delhi's probably going to win that. So close. So very close. Yeah, just convert that one. It's already got revolt risk, so just fucking do it. It'll take until 37 to convert that, though, so that kind of sucks. The main area in Bengal is all animus, though, now. I'd like to pay off all the loans, but if I can get this below a hundred, I would be happy. I'm 
He's getting there. Only uses one each month? Why did our diplomatic reputation go down? Oh, we lost the diplo rep guy. That's why, isn't it? Because our legitimacy is trash. So this is going to take forever now. 37, just to integrate that. Wow. It might be worth it just to try and get rid of this guy and hope that I get a diplo rep guy. Which I did, but of course he's a plus two instead of just a plus one. So he's going to cost me like all the money I make every single month. And to fire him, it's going to cost me basically a loan payment. So it's not going to happen. We're just going to have to sit on this really, really slow integration. Which is quite unfortunate. Because it just looks at your income. It doesn't look at your expenses. Like the fact that I have other advisors. I have interest. I have fort maintenance. I have missionary maintenance. Corruption to root out army maintenance it doesn't look at any of that it just looks at your total income and it's like oh you make enough money to afford a plus two guy it's like while that might be true my country is not in the state to actually do that properly so whatever is what it is he was doing very well for himself How bad is our interest these days? 7.6. Or not our interest, our inflation. It's still pretty bad for inflation. It's part of why I want to get these loans paid off. Have that stop taken up. Every loan we have to take or renew ends up adding 0.1% inflation. That sucks. Oh, five prestige, that's nice. Let's go ahead and look at the fort map mode, see if we can find where they're at. No idea. I have no idea where they're at. We can pay back another loan, or almost pay back another loan. It's weird because that was definitely like a hundred before. Now it's even more. It hasn't even been that long. We actually have a reserve of manpower. It's nuts. I think that's probably the first time we've had a reserve of manpower this game so far. Uh, we can do Khmer, I guess, since Khmer hates us anyway. Which means we do have to stop embargoing Pegu. We get war with Delhi. Sindh and Bhutan. So Sindh has two wars to deal with now. Mao was actually winning their war. Amazingly. I don't think Delhi's really doing much. I think that's why.
Gondwana and my sword will help him. Don't really care about that. We are going to go to start funding the army. We are going to go ahead and make another cannon. With these 19,000 troops, we're going to take them on. Who's it? Gondwana and who? Dundar or something? Mysore. Who is him? Who could probably get access up here, yeah. Let's do it. Let's go kill him. Why is our morale so low? Like, why do we have such low morale? I don't understand that. We should be at full morale. There's no reason we should be at half morale. We just got out of a battle. That's supposed to reinforce your morale. Unless they just changed that. We could train up another troop, why the hell not? Sure, Candy Separatists will probably rise. So, we'll probably have to deal with them after this. Is he really gonna go there? You fucking jerk. Fine, forget about it. Make me lose money for no fucking reason. Alright, throw troops at it. Hurry up and get here. Hurry up and get here. Why would you go up through that way? We're gonna lose now. So dumb. Alright, fine. We'll take another goddamn loan out. I don't know how these guys have so much more troops than us. This is dumb. There. Eight mercs. Really? You're a fucking jerk, dude. Let me tell you what. He's trying to go for my capital, ain't he? Yeah, he is. Alright, fine. He'll die. That's fine. We can come kill you, I mean. No sweat off my back, man. Ah, uh, that's, that's part of it. There are techs ahead of us. I 
I didn't think to check the tech. I just checked who would be joining. Of course, Yampur sold him troops. Even though he had like no troops to fucking sell him, he still somehow sold him troops. Going for my capital again, isn't he? Alright, fine. We can play this damn game. What do you mean, not minus 27? Why? Consolidate then. Like, Jesus Christ, minus 27 fucking ducats every month. That's insane. We freaking just funding our army in piles of gold every month. Oh, here, pile of gold for you, pile of gold for you. Everybody gets a pile of gold. Dude, they still have more troops than me, even though I've basically been going around just wiping his smaller armies constantly, he still has more troops than me. Okay, fine. We'll play this game. We'll play this fucking game. I guess it would be easier if the AI didn't, like, was not willing to completely bankrupt itself to win a war. This would be much easier to win wars like this. Because I definitely have like the better troop production and all that stuff, but because they're willing to bankrupt themselves, it kind of makes it a lot harder because they're willing to go into massive, massive, massive debt just to win one battle. And apparently I am losing. Basically just because he defends the war goal. Here. Fucking die. 25,000 troops. If you beat this, I'm just going to be pissed. Because there's no reason he should be able to beat 25,000 troops. He is attacking into the jungle. I don't even care. Watch him win. Watch him fucking win this. He's going to fucking win this, isn't he? He almost fucking won that. That really pisses me off. We had way more troops than him. We have offensive ideas where he has religious ideas. He has quantity ideas. He doesn't have offensive ideas. Like literally nobody has offensive ideas on his side at all. Defensive ideas.
Just because of this, I'm going to fuck up Gondwana now. Yeah, we'll give you access. Feel like you're winning now? No, you don't. Good, because you're not. That's a very good error, too. So things are starting to turn around a bit. I'm going to take five of these guys, though. You guys are going to go siege those back, and then we're going to get rid of you. take him. Nah, see, I couldn't do that. You could at least do that. Now Gondwana's out. My sword does not want a piece out. Not a big deal. Really not a big deal. So, apparently we had to take six fucking loans out to win this war. That should not have been six fucking loans. It's a one province miner against a five province person where I have this. And for some reason, I couldn't beat him without taking out loans. I'm actually quite surprised that that even happened. Maybe we'll keep this guy. Just because he's still got, apparently, my sword still got 8,000 troops just chilling around there. What tech do you have? Nine. Is tech nine like a really good tech? Combat with and military tactics and better infantry. Yeah, it is a pretty good one. He will not give that to me yet. So it looks like I do have to kill my Sora's army. Probably have to go down to my source capital. How can he move troops through here and I can't? That doesn't make sense. They give access to my sewer. Uh, somebody revoked access to my sewer, that's why. Whenever you're willing to take that, no, I'm not going to spend more. I'm ready to get rid of them five guys as soon as he pieces out, too. Alright, looks like we have to go back and fucking kill him again. Because he just keeps sending troops up over and over and fucking over again. Like, dude, you're not gonna win. Just fucking accept it. 15,000 Utsang Separatists, really. Holy fucking shit. Knock that down. Kosh separatists are about to rebel. Why? Why are you about to rebel? 
You were my vassal. You shouldn't be disloyal like this. Fuck you guys. Raise autonomy everywhere that we can up here, I guess. It's not like that shit's important up there anyway. See, he still has access through here, but I can't get down here for whatever reason. Fine. And Hara, give me access. Thank you. Now I can go fucking kill my sword in his own land. Because I'm tired of him having access and me not. It's not supposed to work that way unless something changed I haven't read about. Go back home. Why won't you just accept this? You have no army. There's no chance of you winning this. Like, what the fuck? Like, there's literally no chance of you ever winning this. My sword, will you just peace out? We're sieging down your own land, dude. Like, peace the fuck out. Fucking asshole. Now you don't have a choice. Oh, I wish I could rub salt in the fucking wound on you, man. For one extremely shitty province, that was painful. Now we have to deal with 15,000 rebels. Partner. I mean, fuck it. It already has so much autonomy, it's not like I'm ever going to make money from it. I need to mark up again. What do you take that time? I'm not going to attack him in the hills. We need to go over here and defend. Delhi wants military access, even though Delhi has announced me as a rival. You can fuck off, Delhi. That's what you can do.
Xanagar is attacking my Utsang rebels. Okay. I don't know why you would do that, but who am I to complain about it? Yeah, Delhi basically wants all of that. Delhi wants everything it looks like. Let's see. Piss off the merchant guild, make him give us some money. Um Screw it, we can do that. We can go ahead and recruit a minister, right? Uh, apparently we can't do that because the button just went away. Great. We could seek their support and then demand administrative support from them. Call a diet and then force them to raise additional levies. There we go. So we need the manpower. Because our manpower went right back down the tank again. Want any mercs? Get all. Just get rid of them. So, so far, so far, man. We have most of this converted. We own most of Bengal. We still have to take our hot Kurda and cut it. From Andhara. I don't know how the hell we're going to do that while he's allied with Vijanagar. I mean, I was hoping we could get like, Delhi as an ally and then go to war against them, but no, Delhi rivaled us. Delhi has no interest in being our ally. <gasps> they don't really have an interest in being our ally. Ming is hostile towards us because he's decided he wants a bunch of land everywhere, basically. Okay, Super Ming. Let's see how it is. I mean, Nepal is free. Independence is guaranteed by Garwal. They're guaranteeing the independence of Garwal, and their independence is guaranteed by Yonpur. I don't think Yonpur really has an army right now, do they? They're not even on this list. Yonpur, 6,000. With my weak ass army, I could kill Yonpur right now. So I don't know how you're guaranteeing their independence if you have the same amount of troops as they do. What are you going to stop, man? You can't stop anything with that. Where are we currently working on this? Some ball pour. No. We're working up here. Ningichi. Ningichi. 
Ying Shi. However you say that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in this episode here. So we basically burnt through our entire manpower reserves fighting that small guy, this guy, and a one province miner. Because fucking everybody sold him troops. Well, Yonpur sold him troops. Somehow they kept building troops over and over and over and over again. I guarantee if I look at like Mysore in like the score comparison, they probably have a bunch of loans just because of that. I definitely did not go past it yet. Mysore. Mysore has no loans at all. Fuck out of here, Mysore has no loans at all. Was he just have like the biggest freaking reserve of manpower known to man? He only makes 1.25 from trade too, so it's not even like he has a ton of money to like fuel mercs and then make have like no concerns about it. I don't know. I don't get it at all. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, bye-bye.